Good afternoon from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2018 Audi A4 All Road. This All Road is currently showing just over 66,000 original miles, and if you would like to see a high resolution, detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There, of course, you will also find a free included Carfax report alongside a long list of technical data related to the vehicle's remaining tire and brake life, as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. But today, I'll take you on a quick condition overview around both the interior and the exterior of the all-road, as well as showing you some of the more notable features. So starting here on the exterior, a couple things to note. First off, I love an all-road in this bright white paint scheme with all of the silver trim to match. You can see all around the windows, on the roof rails, and on the subtle badging there, even extended a bit into the wheels. That really bright finish, I think, just looks great. Now, another big thing to point out is that a lot of all roads you'll see going down the street have that black plastic cladding that they're kind of known for running up and over each wheel and all the way underneath. However, as you can see, this vehicle is all paint matched and it looks fantastic. I always thought if I had an all road, the first thing I'd do is paint match it because it really just gives it a much more wide and kind of aggressive OEM plus look. Uh, I'm a huge fan and I think it should be a more common trend. Anyway, taking a look here at the wheels, here at the back 18 inch split five spoke design, beautiful two tone as well. You can see that uh, the metallic gray on the inside of the spokes and that nice machine finish on the outer portion it looks fantastic. And here at the front is a very similar story and you can see some nice big brakes hidden behind that wheel as well. Tires also in just phenomenal condition as you can see worn very evenly with tons of life left. So working down the side of the vehicle let's look for any dings, dents or scratches here on the driver's side. As you can see it all looks just fantastic here on the driver's side of the vehicle. So now let's make our way up to the front fascia. Beautiful styling here at the front. I love the, pardon me, I love the upright slats, those chrome slats there in the grill that really give it that kind of elegant, slightly elevated look over maybe a traditional A4 with the black honeycomb grill. I always thought this stands out nicely. And again, it goes back to that two-tone that I love, that nice bright white and silver couple things to note we do have a small ding there uh, just off this body line here but from what I can tell no real paint uh, damage was incurred it's just a little bit of a bend in that body line and looking at the front you have a couple of minor imperfections here on the outer corners and such but otherwise in overall nice condition and both the headlight lenses are in great shape as well you can see a couple small touch-ups just there now moving here to the passenger side of the vehicle again another wheel in very nice condition and going very close to the bodywork again. Looking for any dings, dents, or scratching. But all the way to the back, it looks fantastic. Lastly, another wheel here at the back in great shape. And that takes us around to the rear of the All Road. Of course, All Road being the wagon variant gives it a very cool look here at the back. I love this slightly, you know, subtle spoiler here with that gentle overhang over the back glass really think that gives it some beautiful lines from the side profile. Now, taillight lens is crystal clear, of course, no issue there. All of your badging looks great in chrome. A couple of minor chips there in uh, some of that PPF film, where, you know, the paint protective film that carries across this whole shelf. And you can see a small tow package there and these dual exhaust outlets on either side. It all looks nice. So next up, let's make our way to the inside of the All Road, where you'll find a beautiful contrast to that bright exterior. You have a nice bright interior as well. Starting here, looking at the driver's seat, that looks nice. Nowhere whatsoever on this outer bolster, which is the first place you'll see it, and only slight here on the bottom. Now looking at the passenger seat, again, very nice condition. And we'll make our way inside, stepping over this beautiful door sill. It's absolutely mint. So making my way into the All Road, Take a look at this beautiful color combo here on the door card. You can see that nice, almost gray leather on the top, some nice wooden trim with silver accents, and that nice bright tan leather that matches the seats. It's all a very nice look and it all comes together very nicely. So I'm gonna waste no time firing it up. Start, stop button is just here. You'll see the infotainment system fires right up. No issues there, I'm currently on the navigation, so let's back that out here. So taking a look first off at the dashboard, very nice condition all the way across. 
can see the steering wheel looks great as well. All of your controls here on the left side look very nice. Same goes for the right side where we do have a heated steering wheel, which I love to see. You also have your gear selector paddles just there in the back. Now you can see here in the gauge cluster, it's all controlled via these left side controls. And one thing I always point out with uh, Audis fitted with the virtual cockpit, which is the screen you see in front of me, is how customizable this view is. I can have my car info with those big gauges or I can make them smaller to see more information. Or I can scan all the way across to my navigation where I have a small full color display. Or of course I can blow that out to a nice full size vibrant color display. Looks absolutely fantastic. It moves very quickly and responsive and everything is exactly as it should be. Just confirm that mileage for you real quick. You can see in this screen it does show just over 66,000 original miles. So looking here, if you see any flickering, that's only due to the camera uh, here to the human eye. It looks absolutely perfect. You have nice reverse camera just here. And of course, you can navigate on this screen as well. Nice full color display available just there. Now looking here a little bit lower, vents that carry all the way across the dashboard look very nice. Nice wooden trim surrounding your climate controls just there with heated seats. Small phone mount just there and this Quattro badge right in the center finished in silver. You have your drive mode selection there, start stop button, cup holders, infotainment controller which looks nice, and your gear selector. Also with a bit of silver and wood trim surrounding it as well. And just behind me, you have a armrest that is adjustable and also has some nice storage and media input. Just above my head, nice sunroof just there. And next up, we'll make our way under the hood to see what powers the A4 Allroad. Meet you there. All right, so here under the hood of the A4 Allroad, we'll see the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. Looking here primarily at condition, we'll see on the outer perimeter here of the engine bay. All the painted portions look great. Hardware looks great. Plastic panels look nice as well. It all presents very nice. Now looking here at the engine itself, engine cover looks great. You can hear it idling very happily right now. It's a very clean engine there. If you look a bit underneath those covers, all of the intricate connections and small details all look very nice. This is a fantastic powertrain here in the A4 Allroad and I think despite the numbers, they, you'd be surprised at how potent this engine really feels. That's not to say that it's lacking. It is producing around 252 horsepower and just over 270-ish pound-feet of torque. And when paired with that eight-speed automatic gearbox from ZF, it is really snappy. That torque is available super, uh, super low in the RPM range thanks to that turbocharger. So with those short gears, it really gets up to speed quickly. I think you'll be properly impressed by it. I know I always have been. I've driven probably hundreds of these at this point, and this one is no different at all. Now also, despite those nice power figures, we're also gonna get right around, say 30 miles per gallon on the highway, and a little over 22 on city. So as I open up this door just here to reveal the back seats, I will note the driver's seat is in its comfort access position, uh, so it is a little bit further back than it would be when I was driving, but you can see the rear seats are in nice shape, and even with the driver's seat way further back than I would need to comfortably drive it, as a six foot four adult, I'll hop inside and show you that even so, I have plenty of room, not an issue there. And you can also see my heated seat controls as well as my own climate adjustment just there with a small power outlet and a nice drop down armrest with some cup holders and some storage just in the center. Now, lastly, let's just take a quick look here at the back. One touch operation, it's gonna lift that tailgate right up. And we can see inside all the carpet looks fantastic, very, very spacious all the way throughout. And this nice little metal trim here at the load floor all looks great. Just as easily as it went up, you can see one touch operation, it closes down. And it'll nice soft latch into place all by itself. So if you have any further questions related to this stunning Audi all-road, please reference the listing at alphacars.com, and there you will find all of the relevant contact information. Thank you so much for your time, and have a wonderful rest of your day. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you from Alpha Cars.